Hello and welcome back to Plague Tale Requiem. Um, there was something that I realised during the last episode, I forgot to say it, and I just want to talk a little bit about it now. Um, by the way, spoiler alert, if you've not seen any of the previous ones, you can see a little note on screen here that says all the playlists is in the description down below, so if you don't want to have anything spoiled and you've joined this video first, um, head on down to my description down below, you can find all the playlists of the videos. However, if either you're not bothered about the spoilers, or you've seen the previous videos, um, here is a little take from the last one. Um, Hugo's mum and Lucas got to the island. Now, the question is, how did they get there? Because they left them on the side of the embankment and literally went to go and find this island. That They had no idea where the hell it was. Sophia was the one that actually told them where the island was. So, how did Amicia's mom, Beatrice, and uh, Lucas find out where the island was? Because unless they followed them, but if they followed them, then they would have seen them. So how it happened, I don't know. But it did. It was a heartbreaking episode, um, the last one, because of this. Beatrice and Lucas found Amicia and Hugo's tracks again, reunited at the Count's Palace. Amicia told her mother everything they'd found out. Beatrice is proud and admits how wrong she was, but the Count betrayed Amicia to offer Hugo to his wife, which meant killing the rest of the family. In a brutal confrontation, Emily executes Beatrice in front of Amicia. When Hugo wakes up to see the carnage, he unleashes the rats and devastates the palace with Amicia by his side. Emily is devoured in front of the Count, he swears to find them again. I'm sorry, but you start killing people and... My thoughts are go Hugo. You know, obviously it's closer to the third threshold and everything like that, but go Hugo, man. Let's get into episode 13, shall we? I mean, he's just lost his master as well, Lucas, so, you know. Please, Hugo. Say something. Look at me, please. I need you. Amicia, we can't stay here. He won't talk to me. We need to leave. After what he's just saying, I don't think he wants you to talk. Answer me. Amicia, we need to leave. To go where? The harbor. We're leaving this place. I want rest. You can rest when you're safe. We will never be, Lucas. Never. There can be no peace for us. Hmm. Look at him. <laughs> I'll lead the way. Don't think. Just follow me. I'll be your path for the both of you. I'll carry you if I must. But I'm taking you out of here. Take a deep breath, and stand up. You did it! Come on, Hugo. Good. I'm taking you out of here. Yep, Hugo is out of it right now. Amicia's also got a broken arm as well. Or what appears to be a broken arm. So how exactly she is going to... Screw you, bitch! Yeah, screw all of you. How exactly she is going to be able to fight, I don't know. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, uh, shoulder. Oh, it's not broken. Oh, it's not broken. I'm just shoulder. have to fix it. Dislocated. Do it. Yep. Don't this move. is gonna hurt like a bitch. It's gonna hurt. No shit. Oh, no shit.
Come on. Hugo, let's go. Hugo's broken, man. I mean, I'm not surprised he's just lost his mum, but he is. He's broken. Thing that we can upgrade yet. Yeah, we need another tool to upgrade any of that stuff. Give me a count, we need you, you fucking tool. Jesus. I understand that, you know, obviously not being as close to... No. You know, not being as close to the mother and kind of having that disconnect from her because she's not been in most of the story. But just the way that these characters have portrayed it, the way that they've, you know, the way they voice it and their emotions and stuff like that, you really, really, really do feel it. Uh, Come on. Don't believe. Anything will help. You no, need can't it. do well. Can't do anything there. We'll have to wait until we get some more um, toolkits. Be able to do stuff. There has to be a way out. Oh, we fucked this place up, didn't we? Look, up there, an opening. It's our way out. How do we? The upper floor. There may be things up there we can use. I'll look. Stay with him. Amicia, you're still hurt. Try to bring him back, however you can. Please. Fine. But don't go too far. Well, Hugo. Hold on a minute. I think you can hear me. I'm sorry. How do we and push that? Feel right. Skin's pale. The macula's marked, though. It, it looks larger. It must mirror the spread inside your mind. Let me see your eyes. No. Oh, Cupid's not dilated. You're barely blinking. Ah, big man! Hugo's messed up. You can you can see that he's messed up by it. Come on. <laughs> hold on. Oh, you have to hold on. Uh with the rope. Where do you go? Hugo, if you can hear my voice, move one of your fingers. Just do it with that. How is he? His mean... mind is extinguished. I, I think it's not just the shock. 
It's the macula. So he's not coming back? Not yet. Let's use this thing. Come on, Hugo. It's stuck. It's too high. There's no other way, Lucas. Amicia, let's push and see what's behind. Uh, mm. <laughs> Rats. Uh oh, fuck. You scourge the flames. We saw those things inside the carrier's tomb. It will kill the sun. What? What? The sun killer. The light devourer. It's the nebula the old texts talk about. It's real. I'm home. No. No! This isn't home. You go look at me. It's not him, Amicia. It's the macula talking, trying to fill the void, left by your mother's death. I... I should have saved her, but... We can still finish this. You hear me, Hugo? We can find that bastard Count and kill him! No, enough! Mm. Amicia, we need to leave this damn rock and take him away from here. He's drowning. Amicia, focus. You need to push back. Talk to him. Keep him afloat. He needs you. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. How do you how um So I'm imagining that's a bad way. Stay very close. The nebula's all around us. Silly as your torch. Yes. Hmm. Watch out. Oh, what is <coughs> that's what I was talking about. <coughs> Stay away from those fumes. <coughs> it burns. Stay cautious. There's more. I see the That's not here too. Yeah, okay, mate, but I don't really know what I'm looking for, so, you know. Lucas, there's something ahead. I see it. 
What the hell? Oh, that is big. That's a no, Chief. How many are there inside? Yes, I'm here. Hey! I'm waiting. Let's go, Lucas, now. Yes. Come, Hugo. No! I'm staying. There is nothing here for you. This is home. This is... Stop! You're coming with me, whether you want to or not. I, I don't know whether... He's coming with me! You made us so angry. Good luck. They're coming. Run! Stay close to the wall. I have no choice but to look back. Good. I think we're good. I hope we're good. <coughs> Jesus <Breathe>. Christ. <coughs> Breathe. Hugo. Hugo. Hugo is Hugo. Not really that joke was shit. I don't think he sees it that way anymore. All right, Lucas. I love the music for this game as well. It is really, really subtle, but adds so much depth. We're not done yet. We should go. Yes, I'm ready. We still have to reach the harbor. Yep, yeah, we do. Yep, yeah, you're right. I don't know if I should check down here, because, you know, There wasn't fire there. I mean... Ah! <gasps> There's no fire! Why are you... Never mind. We're going this way, fuck it. I was looking for secrets, but hey, I'm getting Amicia burned alive by doing so probably not do that. So we're going to have the count to deal with to get off this island, surely. And then we have to explain to Sophia that Wait. our mum's dead. The village. There's something wrong with the sea. The land is gone. It's me. No. I did this. The rats did. I did. I did it. No. The count and countess did. Let's go. Let's just go. I mean, he kind of, he, he kind of did, Amicia. But there was reasons. Always reasons. It's one of the things about this where it's like, I understand how Hugo. The tremors brought those bloody eggs out in the open. Ooh. Yes, they're still here. Always. Always in my head. 
Hugo. Let him, Amicia. You are not in charge. I am the one in charge. Oh, no. You obey me. Hear me. You obey me. Wait, wait, Ella, Ella. All right. I think they heard you. I've never seen you do that. Because it hurts. I'm sorry. Okay. It's you all grown up in like fucking two minutes. Like he's really grown up all of a sudden. Let me just check over here and make sure that there isn't anything that we can actually get. Neither the fuck do I, but yeah. You know. Oop, some more tools. Uh, some more pieces, sorry. Which I would have missed if I hadn't been checking. I kinda need actual tools now, though. I, I, I'm probably going to go back to not spending too much time looking around for secrets and things and just trying to get through the game without looking you around too much. That Trevor wrecked the oil jars. Soldiers. Why do we still want the child? He'll be the end of us. He ruined everything. This happened because he's under the influence of that defiler girl. That's why the Count wants her dead at all costs. Defiler? You've earned a new title, Amicia. The Count's still alive and spreading his lies. Anyway, they're after us. Watch out. Sure. Hugo's back now then. Yeah, there is a chest there that I wanna wanna get if I can. Because obviously it's a um, a tall chest. So I wanna try and get that if I can. close to the it's too close to the rat thing unfortunately I think unless we can go up the other side and get it which is probably better than the way that we're going currently yeah because it's up there Just... 
find you now. He's coming here. You're done for. You found us. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the grass anymore, man. Nope, not here anymore. Uh, Thanks. But no. Don't think you can get away! Not here anymore. Aye. Uh... Yeah, there's all rats in that one, I don't want to go anywhere near that. I can help it. That guy will move away. Huh? Okay, we'll just have to go. Oh. You blind ass bitch. I mean, I'm not complaining, obviously, you know what I mean? You don't complain, do you? You know what I mean? That's just gonna be a chest with uh, stuff in it. I don't particularly want to go and get the stuff that's in that chest. Come up here. Holy shit, there's a fucking guy right there. Oh, he's down the fucking cliff, it's fine. That gate up there, I think it's the village entrance. What's left of it? It's See anything, did you, man? Nope. You didn't see a shithole. <sighs> we made it through there pretty well, I think. Nicky snicky snake. There's a boat over there. Yes. Please be alive. Please be alive. I can't believe our countess is dead. I heard the Count is so devastated he won't even be there for the hanging. They built a gallows on the Harbour Square for Arno. They're hanging the walls? Damn them, I wanted to see that. Yes, me too. He's not dead. He needs us. We don't have time. We must go. Really? Even after what he's done? I mean, he wanted to kill him and the Count, so, you know. All right. We need to reach that harbour anyway. We get Arno on the way and we get out of here. Um, Sure. Let's do that. I mean, let's be real here, he did do it the wrong way. But... It does seem like the Count was a bit of an ass, so maybe he deserved to die. To be fair, if he'd have killed him beforehand, we wouldn't have had this trouble. <sighs> Careful with the drop here. All right. 
Let's be real. Here it goes. She really genuinely does have a new name of the Defiler. Hmm. I don't know about that. I really hope Sophia's alive. I'd really like to meet someone who doesn't want to kill us. Um I mean Problem is, Arnold probably would want to kill you. Which is something that we've not thought about. Now, I'm going to try and get through this without guards and things like that. Which does mean that I'm probably going to miss a lot of stuff. Because, you know... Ooh, he's right there. They, they won't stay here. Okay, let's get back. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Get back to where we want to be now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just check that room to the right there. Just in case there is anything in it. Probably isn't, it's probably useless to me, but Oh uh, hey, it's not useless to me and it's not a room either. It just gets us around him. Which is good. You go. Oh we can jump back up if we need. I ain't going over there. I ain't going over there, that's for sure. I didn't even notice that fucking soldier out there. Oh. It looks like we have to get over there somehow. Which, yeah, you know. Uh, down there and potentially round would be the best way of doing it. Where do you go? I think we can get down there. Oh yeah, we can. We can jump down there, go across, and then, yeah. Well, we can go... Actually, we could go straight forward if both of these turn around at the right time. Lucas, you're on the... Lucas is on the outside of the wall here. The guard just walked straight past him. You know, for science, I'm just going to see if the guard's going to notice him. Nope. I think technically he's behind the wall, but the game's... Yeah. 
I say they did fine, but use the child to do it. No, I didn't like the man, but that girl's a real banshee. That girl will pop your fucking noggin off, man. No offence, but she would pop the shit out of your head in a breath. What's that? I need some sleep. Yep, you didn't see all, did you, man? Didn't fucking think so. so whoa, you're close. Hi, little bitch. How are you fucking doing? Is he good? Yeah, he's good. I don't think he will. No offense, but I don't fucking think he will. Careful with the fall. I will do my best. That's a nice chest. But I don't think I can get it. No, I think I'd have to actually take him out to get that. I'd have to take him out to get that one. Maybe getting everything is not the imperial way for me to play this game. Like, if you play this game and you get everything all, all well and good to you, it's just I, I, I don't have enough. The only problem is these two guards have an alternate thing. Like, he's looking straight out when this guard is stood looking at me. Nope, he's not. You go chill she won't out. Have to. We'll get him out of there. And Sophia too. Oh, 
Oh, it's another one here, look. There's no tall things in these chests, though, which is a pain in the ass. I don't believe I've got any tools. Let's see what can be done. No, I only have two. Okay. I need a third from somewhere, which would probably have been in that um in that chest that I missed up the top. Hey, you got a knife. Knife to meet you. <coughs> I've met that job before. Now it is a case of figuring out exactly where to go. But let's check out all these places first before we do any of that. I just jumped through a window I didn't need to jump through, lovely. I climb up that ladder. Okay. See that lads? That roaring pig is all quiet now. Let's go. We have to get closer. So this is the armor. The one they call the wall. Yes, we have to save him, even if he doesn't deserve it. I see. You've put together quite the troop. Mm. Up we go. Come on, up. All right. It's ignifer to light the tar, isn't it? Where, where are they? Hang on to me, 
Alicia, you're doing it. Yes. They've got reinforcements. <laughs> Fucking hell, that was a little bit scuffed. Not as scuffed as normal, but a little bit. Can you just wait though, because I need to pick up some shit. Alright. No offence to you or nothing, but you know. I need to restock and resupply, my friend. Stop this bike, yeah, baby. Watch out! Heavy bastards approaching! You've done enough damage! Oh no! You go and stay here! You'll get a quick death! No, you go don't do it! Don't! Yeah, sorry, Hugo's got a problem. It's over now. We did it, Hugo. Yes. Breathe. Calm down now. It's Friano, right? Yes. Please. Yeah? Come on. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's the Batchelder. Hugo says it was his. Suppose at least now we have someone that can, you know. You took your sweet time. Come aboard. Go collapse somewhere. Wait. And your mother? She won't come back. We must go. Now. I see. I'll take it from here. You, come. Never coming back. I know. I wanted to tell her a lot of things. Me too. But she knew everything already. You were her greatest gift. She loved you the way you are, the way she made you. We will live. And we will heal. You keep that same energy for the next chapters, please. The scars? We keep them so that we don't forget. So that we can accept. Until they don't hurt anymore. Oh, that's a quote, isn't it? A little bit of an easier episode, but yeah. A little bit shorter episodes as well, which is good. We'll see you next time for episode 14. Only, uh, only four episodes to go in the game, I think. Join us for that next time. See you then.